She's good, we look good. Okay, so I'm ready? Okay, so I'm here with Amelia Kincaid, and I wanted to ask you, Amelia, how do you like it so far being in Calgary? Oh, it's so beautiful. Did, are you liking it? So beautiful. So you're not in the cold, so that's a bonus. We took the, um, the gondola up to Banff, so we were at the top of the mountain. Oh, it's just stunning. It's a beauty. so nice. Oh, that's nice. So, two years ago, I was booked to come up to Edmonton. Okay. And I had put the luggage through. Okay. I was in the Los Angeles airport. At the time, the coordinator kept saying, everything's going to be okay. It's not going to get canceled. Everything's going to be okay. I checked the luggage through. Oh, okay. And my phone rings, and it's him. Oh, that's unfortunate. And he said, don't get on that plane. So what we're doing now, we're making up for it. That's Because awesome. everybody who didn't come to Edmonton, they're here. That's amazing. And they're on fire. They're so excited to be here. And that's great. They're that's so what we want. Nice. Because I don't know, even for myself, after a long time, I've been out. But I wanted to ask you something. So I have a Siberian Husky. He's about nine months, super hyper puppy, and I understand you wrote a book regarding uh, animals. I have six books out that okay. are published in about 40 languages. 40 languages, that's amazing. And how did you, what made you want to go towards that? I mean, you're in the film industry, what made you lead towards animals? Even when I was aspiring to be an actress, the only reason I ever wanted to do it was to help animals. That's amazing. Yeah, because I'm a big-time animal lover. Okay. So that first book is called Straight from the Horse's Mouth. Yes. That's my biggest bestseller. Okay. And that's got the how-to of how to communicate better, how to understand what are they thinking, what are they feeling, what are they needing. Is this problem emotional or is it physical? Um, they can't communicate to us if we don't get more sensitive. Absolutely, I agree with you on that. Because how on earth are they going to get a message? Right. And my website now has everything on it. So there is a, it's just my name. Okay, do you want to give that out to your website? So I do. So everybody has it? The website is called AmeliaKincaid.com. I've just updated it. So we've got an Angela page. Some these fan pictures, fans who have tattoos of me on their body, they're all going on that site. But, um, so the six books are available on Amazon. On the store page, I've put, I've recorded meditations, prayers, lessons, how to talk to your horse, how to talk to your dog, how to communicate with animals in heaven. What would be your top three advice? is for if you were taking care of the dog, so the Siberian Husky, what could you give me to say, hey, this is what you should try? Is he a boy? Yes, he is. You have one single boy. Yes. You're going to hate me. Okay, why? Because families grow wherever I go. Okay. Get him a girlfriend. Abs okay. <laughs> One male puppy can be a recipe for disaster. Really? And why is that? You may come home and have everything you own torn up. Yes, because they don't like being on his own, and I've noticed he likes, like, he's so lovable, so playful. That's not how they're designed. No. Dogs are pack animals. And okay. pack animals have to be kept in parties of two or more. If you have a dog and you absolutely cannot get another one, then get a, a play date, uh, okay. drop them off with another dog, have another dog come stay with you. But in a perfect world, it's not twice as much trouble to have two dogs. That's true. It's half as much trouble. They need somebody to play with. It's their own physical yes. equivalent. Okay. They need somebody to roll around with, to talk to, to be emotional comfort, to help train him because it is male and is a baby to have a female dog who, who, or even one that's a little older perhaps and has been trained that's the way to help him understand what you're wanting okay well thank you amelia this was wonderful everybody check out our website 
Um, a lot of wisdom to offer. I'm really touched by what you had to say. That's incredible because not everybody sees how animals, you know, you can relate to them sometimes. They just see them as a house pet. And you could have them as so much more sometimes and they can be so meaningful. And in the last little bit, I found how much impact um, you know that he's had on me and how much he's done for me without even knowing this is this is an, an angelic being in the form of a dog that's incredible and he's here to offer you unconditional love friendship and support on a level that you may never get anywhere else absolutely and what they need the most he needs to not be alone that's me he needs you. a dog friend okay I mean, that's on my to-do list thank you for everyone Bye-bye. Thank you.